What up everyone, I am Dwayne Smithers, aka DS Poet. And in this video, we are talking about the Townsend Sphere and my vocal chain for hip hop vocals. Listen, if you would have told me eight weeks ago that this microphone would be inside of my studio, I probably would have laughed at you because I had zero interest in this microphone. To me, it wasn't a real microphone, but just a microphone that copied the EQ curves of many different other microphones. So I thought. About a month ago, back in October, UAD was doing a promotion that with the purchase of a new X6 that you'll get a free Townsend Sphere. I was like, let me get that. Get the X6, keep it, but then sell the Sphere for some extra cash. But to my surprise, I couldn't sell this microphone for nothing. Not on Facebook, and not on Reverb. I kept it for myself just to test it out. Up until this point, the main microphone that I've been using for almost a year now was the Warm Audio 2 condenser microphone. Well, what happened to that microphone? Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. For the past six weeks, I've been going hard with this microphone, going through the different microphone models, testing out different vocal chains to which we're going to talk about today. So let's hop inside of Luna and see what we got. As you know, the Sphere only records in stereo, which was a bummer for me because my Shepherd is only one channel. So a friend of mine gave me a three slot 500 series chassis with the pair of Vintech 73 preamps to use with my Sphere. What can I say? I like to record with analog gear. Here we are inside of Luna, and as you know, whatever you do inside a UAD console is copied over to Luna. So when I'm tracking my vocals, I do track with compression. So for my main verse vocals, I use the TubeTech CL1B, and on this compressor, I hit it with a negative 2 dB of gain reduction at the highest peak. So don't pay attention to this demo right here, like real talk. And then on my hook vocals, I use the LA-2A Legacy and same thing, I make sure that I hit about a negative 2 dB of gain reduction. These vocals are from my new song called I Remember. I do have the finished version inside of Studio One and it should be up on Spotify within the next four to six weeks. Now the first thing that I do to all of my vocals, despite what DAW that I use, is I go through and I chop everything up for vocal cleanup. So I manually DS, I do the plosives, I lower all the breaths and the map clicks. Speaking of plugins, the first plugin is my microphone model. And again, don't pay attention to this demo, alright? So this is my favorite microphone model from the Bill Putnam microphone collection. This is the BT-12A or the C-12. Now, I spent the last six weeks going through all the microphone models, all the microphone collections, and from my main verses of my rap songs and my spoken word, this mic model suits my voice the best. Now again, this is my preference. So let's take a listen to it with the music and without the music. Was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin non stop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top. Rap game tight, headlock, lyrical assassin, blasting shots. I don't know what it is, but this microphone model, A, is fire for my voice. But, Let's explore some more microphone models. Let's check out the 251 without the music. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top. Rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, Blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, Lance a lot, spaced out of my mind, astronaut. So you may like a different mic model for my voice, but again, for me, this is my favorite microphone model. 
So let's explore some more microphone models in the Townsend Sphere plugin. If I can find it. All right, here we go. So my second favorite model is, you guessed it, the 800. Let's take a listen. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with CM nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, touch a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, headlock, lyrical assassin, blasting shots. Depending on the song, I switch between these two for my main vocals, but the majority of the time, you already know, it is the C12. So with that said, let's explore some more microphone models in the Sphere collection. So let's go right here to the core, and let's check out the um, 47. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops. Rocking with CM nonstop before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, Lance a lot, spaced out of my mind, astronaut. Ass full of envy, wouldn't stop. Life full of drama, soapbox. So full of sin, melting pot. But now I'm free, let my faith talk. I'ma share with you a secret that I do to my songs. Now, as I told you, from my main vocals, the majority of the time is a C12 from the Bill Putnam Collection or the 800. But for my background vocals, my doubles, my ad libs, is on my vocal that I pan hard left. Sometimes I use this, and then the vocal that I got panned hard right, the double, as I use this, and it's a perfect blend. But let's go back to C12. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok. Packing Glocks, such a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top. After my microphone model is this tape machine by SoftTube. Now, I'm not knocking you, AD, but to me personally, SoftTube has the best tape machine. Now, I'm not going to go through and explore all of my settings, take a screenshot and explore it for yourself, but this tape machine just as the analog vibe, the analog grip to these vocals. Let's take a listen. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knot, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot. Nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, dance a lot, spaced out of my mind, astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop, life full of drama, soapbox, so full of sin, melting pot, banana free, let my faith talk. After my tape plug in, I hit my vocal with some subtractive EQ. Now, at the making of this video, I just got this plugin this morning from Plugin Alliance. I am using this EQ in place of my favorite one, which is FabFilter Pro. But to me, I'm beginning to like this EQ better than FabFilter. So get this plugin and explore it. I think you'll really like it. So you may be looking at my EQ curve and saying to yourself, what is wrong with that boy? I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with me. About four years ago, I got this EQ trick, this EQ curve from the one and only, the realest puppet in the game, Reed Stefan. I was watching one of his videos and I saw him do this EQ curve right here. This low pass right here, I mean not the low pass, but this low shelf. And I've been doing this on all of my main vocals, on all of my songs, despite if it's me or a gospel singer or an R&B singer. This is the EQ curve that I use on all of my clients and also myself, and it works every time. So right here at 2K and under, like I said, I got a low shelf 
at a negative 3 dB and I come back right here and I boost it up to a positive 2 dB you know to add that beef back into the vocal and then right here as a half pass filter around 80 now for males you want to do anywhere between 80 and 90 and then for female vocals you want to do this at 100 and so again so this takes out all the mud so this stops you from going around boosting and sweeping and finding all the bad frequencies and things like that look just hit it with this right here and you'll be all right let's take a listen before i met christ i was on the block hanging with my homies dodging cops rocking with sin non-stop before the days of facebook TikTok, packing glocks such a hard knock pocket full of green aiming for the top rap game tight pet lot lyrical assassin blasting shots pull up to the spot nonchalant pretty girl by my side head to flunt true player for real dance a lot spaced out of my mind Astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop. Life full of drama, soapbox, so full of sin, melting pot. Banana free, let my faith talk. After my subtractive EQ, I hit it with some additive EQ. So these are my settings, so I don't mess with nothing over here. I just come over here. So as you can see, I got this at 16. Now the reason why I do this is because when I'm mixing vocals on my Shepherd channel, you guessed it, I hit it with the 16 at around a plus two, plus three, depending on the vocal. And so the beautiful thing about this uh, Potec EQ is that I can boost it right here, but then I can come in and I can attenuate at one dB and it smooths everything out. Check it out. Before I met Christ, I was on the block Hanging with my homies, dodging cops Rocking with sin, non-stop Before the days of Facebook, TikTok Packing glocks, such a hard knock Pocket full of green, aiming for the top Rap game tight, pet lot Lyrical assassin, blasting shots Pull up to the spot, nonchalant Pretty girl by my side, head to flunt True player for real Dance a lot, spaced out of my mind Astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop As you can hear from this vocal It adds a harmonic vibe to it Which is why I like this EQ for additive EQ After my additive EQ is compression Yes, I do compress after our EQ Now, out of all the compressors by UAD This has become... I would say like my first or second compressor. I like this compressor so much that I'm thinking about getting the hardware version. These are my settings. Attack is at three, release is at seven. I got this trick from Chris Lord Algae. This is how he uses all of his compressors. So I thought to myself, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. So these are my settings. Now what I'm doing, is that I'm hitting a negative seven on the loudest parts. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top. Rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side. Head to flunt, true player for real Dance a lot, spaced out of my mind Astronaut, ass full of envy Wouldn't stop, life full of drama Soapbox, so full of sin Melting pot, banana free Let my faith talk So for me personally I like my vocals to be a little bit dynamic I don't want it to sound squashed So that's why I hit it with the negative 7 And if you're watching the meter at one point, it hit a negative 10, but you know what? That's okay with me. Before we go any farther, let's listen to this vocal with all the processing. So I'm gonna come right here and I'm going to disable all. Before I met Christ, I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, 
rocking with sin nonstop before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, dance a lot, spaced out of my mind, Astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop Life full of drama, soapbox So full of sin, melting pot Banana free, let my faith talk After all of my processing is done On my main vocal channel The next thing that I do is parallel compression So for this Oops, my bad So enable this so for parallel compression, guess what I use? That distressor. Hit it with that nuke right there. And these are my settings. Again, this won't work for every vocal, so you have to adjust the settings to fit your vocal. This demo is about to go away, y'all. I promise y'all it is. So let's check it out. Before I met Christ, I was on the block. Hanging with my homies, dodging cops. Rocking with sin non-stop before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, dance a lot, spaced out of my mind, Astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop Life full of drama, soapbox So full of sin, melting pot Banana free, let my faith talk As you can hear from the parallel compression It makes all the words stand out a little bit more So after the parallel compression Hit it with some reverb The first thing that I do to all of my reverbs as I hit it with this EQ curve at around 600 and at around 8K to 10K. So what this does is that this tames your reverb. Like go and do some research on it. And I learned this trick, I don't know, about two years ago and it has made my mixes sound a whole lot better. So I hit it with this and then on my first reverb, Old Faithful, the Lexicon 224. And these are my settings. I turn the pre-delay all the way up and then on the sin, I got it around like minus 39.8. Let's take a listen. On the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot. Lyrical assassin, blasting shots. And then what I do, I take this EQ and I move it over to my second reverb. And yes, I use two reverbs. And this reverb right here has become my favorite reverb. Before I met Christ, I was on the block. Hanging with my homies, dodging cops. Rocking with sin, nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok. Packing Glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top, rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots, pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt. And as you can hear, these two reverbs combine as the perfect space between the vocals and the beat. So last up on the effects chain is my delay plugin. And what I did is I took the same EQ and I dragged it over to my delay. And then the delay that I'm using is repeated by Slate. And these are my settings. Got a little ping pong effect going on right here. Before I met Christ, I was on the block. Hanging with my homies, dodging cops. Rocking with sin, nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok. Packing Glocks, such a hard knock. Pocket full of green, aiming for the top. Rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots. Pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, dance a lot, spaced out of my mind. 
astronaut ass full of envy wouldn't stop life full of drama soapbox so full of sin melting pot banana free let my faith talk as you listen to this delay it is subtle but without it you notice something is missing from the vocals let's listen to everything together from the top before i met christ I was on the block, hanging with my homies, dodging cops, rocking with sin nonstop. Before the days of Facebook, TikTok, packing Glocks, such a hard knock, pocket full of green, aiming for the top. Rap game tight, pet lot, lyrical assassin, blasting shots. Pull up to the spot, nonchalant, pretty girl by my side, head to flunt, true player for real, dance a lot, spaced out of my mind. Astronaut, ass full of envy, wouldn't stop Life full of drama, soapbox, so full of sin Melting pot, banana free, let my faith talk To answer the question, what happened to the warm audio 8000? Well, after many shootouts between these two microphones It was so close that I had no choice but to let it go I sold it on Reverb. Now, don't get me wrong, the Warm Audio is an amazing microphone and I would have kept it if I didn't have the Sphere. So now with that money, I can either get the Warm Audio Poltec EQ or the Warm Audio 2A. What more can I say about this microphone except that I really like it. So much so that this is my last microphone purchase for a long time unless it's a microphone that I've really been wanting. You know, the 251. Well, with that said, thank you for watching the video. Catch you in the next one. Peace.